Test. Test. Do you all hear me? Yeah. Well, he said a very funny guy, so he's got me mixed up with someone else because uh, <laughs> I, I, I need to do my worst set as possible because I, want, I don't want to mess up the theme here. Don't worry. We have faith. Oh! <laughs> I forgot to plant myself in. Already on it. Already on it. <laughs> that was like my worst guitar, too. It's, it's an eight string. That's too many. Like, I wanted to feel something big in my hands because I'm Filipino and, like, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think my wife's watching too. We're on, well, uh, shoot. I had plans, but 2020, you don't have plans. 2020 is like, fuck your plans. Like, but, um, so football started. Um, I don't tell people who I root for really, because the fact of the matter is, uh, you know what? Teams, you're, you're, you're grown ass teams. You don't need me to root for you. You're going to make a shit ton of money anyway. It's not going to break your heart that I didn't root for the Raiders anymore or the Rams or like, you know what? <laughs> my, 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 my loyalty to a team can be bought. I'm a fan sellout and I don't even care. Like, why do I root for someone that sucks? Like, I've been a Browns fan for decades. Like, oh, you've been a fan of a shitty team for decades? That sucks for you. Like, I don't want to be that. Like, I want to root for someone good because I got to root for other things in life that suck, like work and stuff. Like, I want to root for someone cool as a team because I did go back to work. I fought and fought and fought to not go back to work because I'm not going to lie. Un unemployment was, was good and it's still good because work work is just a pain in the ass. I'm a server and my wife works in customer service too. Whoever said the customer is always right, like, you can take all of the offs and just fuck them because the customer is not always right. Have you heard, have you, like, have you seen customers? They're fucking dumb and they ask her the dumbest shit. Like, my wife at work, they tell it, they tell her this mantra at work. They go, well, you should be lucky that we have customers to take care of. And she works somewhere that never fucking closed for quarantine. So, no, they should be fucking lucky that they were open. So, this isn't a comedy, but this is my customer service announcement to go tell everyone, if you're going to go be a dick to everyone where you go in restaurants and everything, I bet someone from work is going to see this and rap me out. Because I'm on Facebook Live here also. Someone's going to be like, here he is talking shit about work. But... <laughs> I, I say this kind of shit at work, too, so that's why they were reluctant to have me back anyway. I mean, like, the, the thing with here, too, is, like, in Santa Maria, all it is is restaurants and, like, furniture stores. So all it looks like we do is eat and fuck and eat and fuck and sleep and eat and fuck and sleep. Like, that's all they build this city for. But the thing is... I think that is all we do is eat and fucking sleep. We don't need to build a golden corral in another supermarket. We need to build a two-story planet parenthood. <laughs> and I call mm -hmm. it I call it planet parenthood cuz it is it's like a trip there. You go there and you're like I got to brace myself for this ride cuz I have no idea what planet parenthood ho holds in store for me. <laughs> I have to laugh inside. I have to make myself laugh, even if it's not funny. Because, well, to be honest, right now, I am waiting on the results of a COVID-19 test myself. Because, yeah, like, somebody uh, I know was in contact with. And then it's somebody that, like, I'm not in close contact with, but they got it. So now I'm like, well, shit, I got tested. The wife's got to get tested. And I haven't seen her in, a, like, a couple days other than a couple of texts. But... I gotta laugh because the funny thing about the COVID test, if, if you haven't had one yet, it's a long ass Q-tip. That's such a vibrant thing. Uh-huh. Such a vibrant thing. There's a Q-tip joke for you guys. I bet some of you are too young to get the Q-tip joke. But No, I, I got it. I got it. Oh, I it. oh bad. Oh, oh cool. Well, I don't know. I, that, that's the temperature test. Make an old reference and see. He's going to talk about VHS next and see how old or young his crowd is. But, um... The Q-tip, they you, you stick it in like you go in and you like go around, and it's funny because uh, <laughs> it's not the first thing I've stuck in my nose, 
and I think it pretty much just went all the way across when I stuck it in because <laughs> I've kind of done some damage with other things I've put in there. So it kind of like, I wanted to tell them, hey, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> this isn't the first thing I stuck in here. And this might not be the only thing I stick in here today, depending on how uh, the results of this COVID test get. <laughs> What's funny, I, I always kind of wonder, I, I have a... I, I seen this special on TV about the people who work for the DEA. I could not work for the DEA because I would just be too busy, like going, "Look over there! I better look at this." My I need to investigate all this by myself, and I would just be like, "Look away!" And I would just be taking shit home and like, "Look what I did! Look what I got for you guys!" But the COVID thing has been. I didn't have a bunch of COVID, or I didn't want to do a bunch of COVID stuff, but I forgot I had some because I've been making notes forever. Well, kind of an annoying thing that you have to deal with with COVID is the people who make... There's some shitty-ass hand sanitizer out there. There's some sanitizer that tastes like they just took, like, shit and glue and mixed it together. Uh, yeah. You're just like, oh, man, I gotta smell that on me? Like, I would have rather, like, ate some ass out and, like, smelt that on my upper lip instead of, like, smelling the hand sanitizer and you clean your mask and shit. But I do like the mask... Because I hate the mask, but I like it because what I've learned is at work, since I end up hating it so much, it's really hard for people to read your lips when you're lip and like, oh, you motherfucking cock sucking <laughs> son of a bitch. I can't believe you asked me to go back and get some fucking shit. You fucking whore of a whore. And like, what'd you say? Oh, I said the door's open and I'm so glad that <laughs> I can sing and dance or what you can hide it. Because I'm saying some fucked up ass shit to you under my mask. I don't even care. Problem is, I'm not just lipping it. I think I say it out too much. I think I say it out loud too much. Because I'm not a family friendly person. But the fact that it matters, whoever came up with the term family friendly, most people's families aren't friendly. <laughs> family friendly is not family friendly. I don't know who's living in like the Disney existence that we've had created by movies and all they need to make a disney movie instead of like someone's mom or dad just dying and it being about a kingdom they need to make a disney movie where someone just puts up with their fucked up ass brother or sister through the whole movie like lion king, lion king. oh yeah it is kind of like that huh that is true lion king's yeah. a trip too my brother is uncle scott for sure <laughs> he, would kill, he would kill me right away just to take over like my vinyl record for sure <laughs> That's a good reason to kill someone, though. Take killing someone for a collection. Like, I mean, yeah. people are practically killing killing them for your collection. I should. You know what? Like, cause people are like these GI Joes. People are fucking killing them like each other for these Joes. Like, I've been like I've never seen so many old ass dude or dudes oh, even my God. age. These guys are like ready to catch each other like in the in the neck for these things you get into the store and i'm like thank god these collectors are fucking badasses because i can at least run by them and get to them before anybody else can i'm like ah sorry you're fat and not and then i just bolt through them and i feel bad for all the crap my mom put up with when i was younger helping me get them i, I think i drove my mom up the wall because everybody has a mom that probably if you if you're a brother or sister we all have a mom that or dad that has done the thing where they mix you up with the sibling. They're like, remember when I took you to Magic Mountain? You're like, that wasn't me. Oh, man. Like, they just mix you up with the other ones. Well, you, I remember when you were little, you used to, you got all, your grandpa gave you a pocket knife and you sat there and cut up the table. I'm like, that was Tommy. That wasn't me, Mom. That was Tommy. Uh, like, my, my, my uh, mother-in-law did that with... Uh, my wife, she's like, remember, I, I took you, we went up to the beach, and she's like, that wasn't me, and and, and they don't remember how old you were, like, my mom's like, we took you, <laughs> my mom's like, we took you to SeaWorld, I was like, I was two weeks old, I'm like, yeah, I drove there, like, but I can't get mad at my mom, because my, my son looks like me, too, and she'll, she'll turn around and yell at me, and she'll be like, Ezra, and I'm like, uh, that's not Ezra, I'm him, you mean to yell at Vlad, it's, so... If you got a mom, you got a, got a parent that's still alive, give him a hug and kiss. Tell me you love him, because you probably drove him up the wall, just like just like I did. But, um, well, I, I don't know how I did, but 
I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how I did because I'm just warming up and I'm just got to be talking to people instead of sitting around waiting all nervous, chewing my nails, nails which I shouldn't that be. That gives hug their mom, dude. <laughs> oh, they just... <laughs> They, they just like mix them all up with like other other moms. Uh, le- like in the apartments over here, it's like it's like all the families just it, it's like a village. They all have their apartment door open, and there's like fifty kids and like six moms, and you just yell at any kid you want. Yeah, you're like those aquí, you're like some chickens. You're like Arnufo, vente acá, like que Arnufo, mamá, and you're like oh, it's like that Arnufo. Like I I love to live in that next to a. Uh, a Mexican restaurant because I'd hear them. They'd have like Rezo Radio like bumping next door, and they'd have the radio station show up, and it'd be like promoted by a. It'd be pr- it'd be promoted by like Harris Ranch, so they'd throw in the English word. They'd be like, Escucha la radio, música de de cinco cinco. Uh, gracias todas las personas de Harris Ranch, <laughs> and, and like you just throw in the English word real quick. <laughs> I would love that shit because because you just knew. They're like, y gracias a Tara para comprar la coche, la camioneta de Santa Maria Ford. <laughs> it's just, it, I love, I love that. Well, anyway. Santa Maria Ford. <laughs> Santa Maria Ford. Oh, fuck Santa Maria. Hey, if you're watching Facebook, man, you can tell Santa Maria Ford. I said you can take all the offs and fuck them. I don't give a fuck. They fired my ass. Like, you don't buy from Santa Maria Ford. I don't care. I'll slander the hell out of that business because they fired my ass. So, anyway, I'm done ranting. Time for me to play myself off here. Ready? What? What? Two, one, two, three, go. It is an eight string. It is an eight string. Wow! Look at you. I mean, yeah, I can't hear one of them. I can't hear any one of those strings. Dude, it's, hear it does sound like those. mud. Like that's it, if you want to know, took, like that sounds like fucking mud. Like I'm gonna put new pickup, like eight string, just so I can play the higher notes that they're actually heard. Yeah, it is like thank you for that's muting. The, that's the yeah. that's called a zoom hook. Right Actually, there. thank you for muting because yeah. it did sound like shit. Yeah, like the Apollo, you know. Fucking Sandman came in. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm good. I'm 